21, it's a knife, bust a left, I got drunk and took a right, I'm so high, you fuck with me, I'll take your life, and then take your life, bring you back to fuck her twice, hey. I'm in the cut, oh yeah, she wanna fuck, oh yeah, that little bitch cut, bro, yeah, she give me deep throat, yeah, stitch like Lee, low, combination no cheat code, yeah, I got the G code, none gon' see, none gon' glee, mo, yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is gonna be a commentary video. It's just a quick little video so then I can at least drop something and not leave this channel completely abandoned like my mom did to me as a child. Um, but pretty much besides that, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe because this is the only thing that's keeping me going. I'm not gonna lie. I work two fucking jobs, both of them are bullshit. And do I want to be 40 years old working some nine to five? Fuck no. So subscribe, help a man out. But either way, besides that, today's video we're gonna be talking about. Who's this number one new YouTuber? Everyone always is like, oh, there's this new YouTuber on the rise. But I am talking about the person who holds the new throne of YouTube. It's always been this man, PewDiePie. Him and his fucking pies and shit. And we all love the man. The man's amazing. And I would say he still has one of the thrones on YouTube. But... I think Mr. Beast is kind of now the new number one, obviously. Like, I think he has more subs than PewDiePie. Like, I don't know. Let, let me check. I think everyone in the fucking grandma subscribed to fucking uh, Mr. Beast. It, it used to be PewDiePie, but PewDiePie fucking... Uh, sorry, he died off. No, I'm joking. He has 111 million fucking subscribers. And I only have 200. The fuck am I talking about? But um, I think Mr. Beast has... 131 million. So he, he's beating him by like 20 million fucking subscribers. So he's beating him by obviously a lot. But in his recent video, like a lot of his video titles are usually this like style where you look at him and if it's not a Missile Beast video and it's some other channel's video, it's probably clickbait. But with his fucking thumbnails, they always look so weird and so saturated. But in his latest video, he probably did. One of the, like, best things he's done, um, on his channel, like, normally Muscle Beast is, you know, doing little game shows with YouTubers and see if they could win a fucking plane or, um, pretty much, um, helping people out with their groceries or, you know, cleaning up the world's dirtiest beaches and shit like that. But in his latest video, he legit killed a thousand people of uh, being blind. Um, again, not at all blindness, I think, can be cured, but there's certain kinds of blindness that can be cured, and, um, to be honest, I'm kind of like a dumbass, and I didn't even know we had the technology to really do that, I thought, like, once you went blind, or if you're blind, you're pretty much fucked, but I guess those second chances, but pretty much in his latest video, he legit goes out and helps a thousand people with the surgery. Uh, let's just look up. I just want to look up. How much is eye surgery if you're blind? Let, let's just look up the fucking cost. Oh, fuck. Eye surgery for blindness. Cost. Okay, so does eye surgery. The short answer is no, but the definition of legally blind must be understood in order... Okay, so it's like classic. So the it's pretty much these people weren't fully blind. It was more like the shit was kind of blurry. Well, not kind of. It was very blurry. But either way, they were still had blindness to a point. I'm just trying to find the cost. Yeah, so it can <coughs> be anywhere between two thousand and eight thousand dollars. So let's just say he like obviously paid the top dollar got the best doctors in the country to do all of this shit so say let's say he spent eight thousand dollars Let, let's do this math i'm using a calculator because i failed that shit in high school but um eight thousand times uh, uh he he helped a thousand people that's a lot of fucking money that's a lot of fucking zeros that's pretty much roughly like $8 million that he dropped. In, well, no, even maybe more than that. Holy, f um, I'm kind of kind of bad with math. Yeah, no, it's so roughly $8 million that he did drop into that. 
which is fucking crazy. And even if he did the short route, which, not the short route, but say they gave him a fucking deal or whatever, um, it's 2000 But that's for a prosthetic eye, though. <coughs> so, that's not even really hearing, like, that might be a completely wrong number. Um... So, I, I don't fucking know. But, again, like, therapies and stuff like that can go up to millions of, like, uh, $850,000 for therapy to help treat these kind of conditions. <coughs> and it's crazy that he, you know, went and actually helped these people. And pretty much, okay, I see this article. It's saying 7000 per eye. So, people have two fucking eyeballs. So, 14000 and then times that by a thousand. He either paid fourteen million dollars, which is even higher than the number I said before, or they could be saying the seven thousand adds like two sets of fucking eyes. So even then it'd be like seven million fucking dollars. Which is fucking insane. Like, again, this is what some people's careers, the whole careers. <coughs> Sorry, I am a bit sick right now. That's also why we're doing a commentary. Um, but either way, pretty much, um, some people's whole careers, this is all the money they see, you know? So it's crazy that he even has access to this money. But then let alone had access to this money and then he used it for greedy shit like buying him a nice ass house. Or buying himself a nice ass car, whatever. He went and helped out with people that really fucking needed it. And again, I wish there were more people like this. Um on the internet. Not even just saying like just YouTubers, but even actors, even fucking like sounds dumb, but the OnlyFans models. Like they can make a million dollars in one month and then let alone like say the wave doesn't die or dies off a bit, they're still getting a good hundred thousand or a couple hundred thousand dollars off of just getting fucked by something. So it's like I'm not saying only fan models should donate to charity, but it'd be kinda cool if like, you know, people who did have this access to large sums of money, like obviously they don't need to donate every penny they get because Again, they work really hard to get that money. But it'd be kind of nice to see people not be so hoarding with their money and shit. I understand why a lot of people do hold their money. Because number one, a lot of people come from ground from ground zero. So again, once you get this large sum of money, you don't want to let it go. And then number two, it's like, again, you work really hard for this kind of shit. And it's sometimes it's kind of hard to find certain um, charities that will actually be good charities. And just kind of setting that stuff up is sometimes very hard. But again, like, if people, again, have the lost sums of this money, like, even if they do it just to, you know, want to look good, as long as it's going to a charity and it's benefiting someone, like, fuck it, just do it, you know? Like, again, think about it. If you're an OnlyFans model and you made a million dollars one month, to keep a wave going, how about you donate half of that million dollars to a charity? And then you get more horny desperate fuckboys to subscribe to your shit, you just keep that wave going, and you just become, like, a fucking donating porn star, I don't know, you make a fuckload of money, and then you help a fuckload of people, you know what I'm saying, but either way, this is a really cool to see, like, Mitchell Beast doing awesome shit like this, he's always doing awesome shit, but this is Probably the top of the top. Like, I don't think anyone's ever going to top Missile Beast on YouTube, let alone top this. And if someone does this, it's probably going to be, like, some clickbait bullshit or, um, fake. Like, again, this is, like, really hard shit to pull off. And this is, like, Missile Beast is always doing shit that's, like, never done before. And it's, like, shit that's, like, you only can do when you're at the top. Or, like, even when you're at the top, there's some people that are, like, kind of not in exactly a mental beast situation, but close to it, that can't even pull something off like this. So, it's, like, crazy to see something like it. It's really cool. <coughs> and it's also motivating because it's, like, for me, my channel does ever grow big enough to where I'm supporting myself just fine. And I can actually help support others, like, if that's donating to charity or whatever. 
and it's like it motivates me to want to do that even like try to grow my channel so then i can help out with people you know what i'm saying um but yeah no it's just it's like i don't know missile beast he started out as that one motherfucker counting numbers and saying Logan Paul 100,000 times. And now he's curing blindness. What the fuck, bro? YouTubers out here curing blindness. Holy shit. Bro, YouTube's on some different level shit this year. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And hopefully... <coughs> I'm not sick any much longer and I can go back to doing normal uploads and normal recordings and hopefully work doesn't get too much in the way and low-key worst case scenario, um, I'll cut off my daytime job if I have to because technically my nighttime job I could ask for more hours and they're kind of more reliable because hint hint we're about to hit a fucking recession and I, I kind of want a job during that recession so I can eat. So, again, worst case scenario, if I have to give up my daytime job or I get fired from it because I want to upload a video once I get off at, a, like, 10.30 at night and get home at 11. And I want to try to get a video out because YouTube is my number one fucking dream since I was a 12-year-old kid to make it on it. I'm going to fucking do it because I don't want to be some stupid, like, not to say it, but, like, this is how I see it. A fucking peasant working some shitty 9 to 5. Like, some people, the like, working a 9 to 5 is, like, the best saving thing for them. Because it's, like, either they're in hella debt or, like, something got fucked up in their life. If that's, like, because they're physically disabled in some kind of way. If that's, like, bad knees or whatever the fuck. Like, I understand some of these jobs are made perfect for people and they love them. And I'm not shunning that and saying, oh, if you work a 9 to 5, you're a fucking peasant. But I just know with me, I want to be making videos. I want to be entertaining people and not just sitting there and be like, hi, how's your day? Hi, how may I take your order? I fuck that bullshit. I'm not with it. But either way, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys. <coughs> <coughs> fuck my lungs. I'm coughing them out. See you guys all in the next video. Let's try to hit 250 subscribers, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys. I ain't with the